What's up guys, James here with Fun Fact of the Day. Hope you guys are having a great day, learning lots, and getting stuff done. Today, we're here to talk about an interesting thing that the FDA regulates that you might not have thought of, and that is, why don't all of the macronutrients on the back of a nutrition label add up to the calories? What's the deal? You see, when adding up macronutrients, which are fats, proteins, and carbohydrates, they have different values as far as calories go. One gram of fat is equal to nine calories, one gram of carbohydrates is equal to four calories, and one gram of protein is equal to four calories as well. And then alcohol is its own little separate thing, and each gram of alcohol is worth seven calories. So, in theory, according to any basic nutrition class, if you had a bunch of fat grams, they should add up to the amount of calories based on that formula. However, if you actually go and add up the calories on a bunch of the nutrition labels of the foods in your house, that's probably not the case. And this is why. You see, because certain things aren't digested completely in your body, the FDA mandates that you actually count them as less calories. So, for example, insoluble fiber. It's a type of fiber that your body can't really digest. That actually used to be counted as no calories at all, but recently they have upped it to two calories per gram instead of the normal four, because you only digest about half of it. The other things that are counted differently, but they don't show up correctly on the label, are proteins, which, because proteins in general aren't usually digested completely, instead of being 4 calories per gram, they actually knock 1.25 calories off of that 4 to make it 2 and 3 quarters calories per gram. Which means that if it says a certain amount of protein, you're actually getting a fair amount less. The third thing that'll screw up your macro counting is sugar alcohols. These are basically the fake sugars that you get in food. Things like stevia and sorbitol and aspartame and all the things that everybody says cause cancer. Those, because they're not wholly digested by your body, are only counted as variants of two calories per gram. It's very specific. They use a ton of science to determine this. So, for example, sorbitol is counted as 2.6 calories per gram instead of the normal four. This is because, like I said, you don't digest sorbitol the same way you would actual sugar. The fourth main reason calories might not add up is because of rounding. The actual calorie count at the top can be rounded up to five calories when it's only under 50 calories, and if the serving size is over 50 calories, they can actually round to the nearest 10, which would then make your counting fairly off. So, if you've ever wondered why all the macronutrients on a nutrition label don't add up to the total number of calories at the top, that is why you can thank the FDA. If you enjoyed this video at all, or you just learned something new or found it interesting, please leave that like down below. If you like fun fact videos, and you want even more fun facts that are more fun and more factual. Click this link right here. I have a whole playlist of tons of the ones that I've made so far, and we put out new videos every single day, so consider subscribing. That's all for me today, and I will see you tomorrow.